All right, everybody. Hey, we are back at it here on Total War Attila. This is the 1212 mod. And we are going to go into medieval UK against France. Yeah, this is the 1212 AD mod. We have the Kingdom of France, Kingdom of England. I will be playing as the Kingdom of England. It's the Battle of Colchester. I want to thank everybody for coming out in my previous videos, hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. We've been slowly increasing our subscriber uh, number. We're almost halfway to our goal of 500. So please, you know, come on out, tell some friends. Anybody you know who loves to play uh, Total War or wants to watch some live battles, indoor campaigns, just keep coming out. Remember, hit that like, hit that sub. Make some comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. We're trying something new here, and we just want to continue to grow and get better. If anybody in the comments can tell me, I don't know what it is. I have the army grouped, but when I move them, the cavalry, they do not stay in formation. So if you guys could tell me what I could possibly be doing either incorrectly or there's like an additional step to what I have to do to make them stay in formation. See how they just, they go through, but everybody else stays in formation. It seems like it's just the cavalry. Just so you know what I do, I select the whole army Control G so that it's grouped and then I hold the alt button move my cursor use control to tilt right so I do all that I have that down but why they don't stay in formation I don't know so if anybody you know could comment below to let me know what I could be doing incorrectly or I'm forgetting to do uh, I would greatly appreciate that so what we're gonna do here guys is Let's go ahead and go into slow motion. <clears throat> so, we will have four units of English foot knights. 15th century, really cool looking units. High damage output. Okay. The next part of our front line will consist of five units of late 15th century heavy spear infantry. And then our back line is going to consist of two units of English foot knights early 13th century. And then we are going to have four units of English knights late 15th century heavy shock cavalry. Very cool looking. Love the way the horses look there. And then we'll have our general. King's Bodyguard, late 15th century, Heavy Command. Very cool looking unit. And then followed up here we have our Retinue Longbowmen, late 15th century. And then at the very back we are going to have our Hand Gunners, Medium, 15th century. The way we set up our line was we wanted to try going with a... Um, instead of straight across, we wanted to bring the center in a little bit to try to, you know, entice them to come into this centerpiece so that we can then uh, flank around and, and kind of put them into a uh, situation where they just cannot back up. It didn't go as planned. Um, and not to mention... Spearmen here, they hold up fairly well, but not as good as I would have hoped. So we did have to modify things a bit. So we start off here, put them in triangle formation. We get a charge in. These guys are going into triangle formation. 
And we're going to get a charge into their French Chevaliers. Let's go into normal speed. Again, we see their cab now starting to charge, but then they change. And we, we go and charge into their units there. And now this is where I'm hoping that people will start to funnel in here so that we can kind of move out. What I do is I take our foot knights. I want to get them into the cavalry here if I can. They did pull out, which was a good move. We then have on our left flank our foot knights here. Everybody's committed. We put shield wall up. And now we have our archers who are going to start putting some fire in. We did clear this right flank for the most part. We bring our cavalry up on the hill. We want to get another charge into this cavalry unit. And then you see their general now comes in, lays a charge on our spear. Their bowmen are going to start to get set up. Now over on this side here, we're completely outnumbered. Good fight going on. I'm going to start at some point here to move out our foot knights. I'm going to move out my general. I believe I bring him to the left flank. We're now going to bring this spear unit into the center. This group of cavalry here is almost gone. They do regroup. This foot knight unit comes out to chase, and then I go back into this fight. Now he comes back. We move our archers over to start firing upon them before they can really do much. And it's just enough to scare them off. I tried to hit them with our shock infantry there. Now we're starting to move our foot knights up on the right flank. This left flank still going pretty good. Not too bad. We then start to rush into their bowmen with our cavalry. I figure, alright, what I'm going to do is bring my commander over to this left flank see if we can help with some things there then I notice our center is starting to break I need to bring our foot knights in so that they don't get a free run on our uh, ranged and then this unit of foot knights is going to try and come in and get a flank on their foot knights or their friend dismounted French chevaliers <coughs> Looks like we're doing pretty well here. I did eventually bring my um, general around the flank to clear this up. I'm going to bring this foot knight unit in to try and help secure this left of center. Our cavalry unit here is in with their heavy, uh, their heavy commander. And then we're going to start getting these units here, bring them over to assist. Now we start to move our bowmen to try and get into this blob here. Bring my hand gunners back a little bit. We're going to bring these units here to protect in case anybody wants to come through here to the hand gunners. And we do have a pretty big fight here. These bowmen are coming back. Trying to chase down this uh, heavy melee infantry unit here. You see that our general held him here for a little bit. Our archers now are putting fire into this blob. Now we move our hand gunners up. And I believe we get a shot, a couple shots in here. Don't we'll let them line up. Uh, let's see. Nope, we move them back a little bit. There we go. Now you'll see they'll get their shots in. This unit here possibly could have hit some of my units but I had to get that unit in here to intercept their melee unit we have a lot of units here that are getting a little bit getting a little bit uh, with the wavering there trying to get them back in the fight our cavalry unit here is lining up we're going to get cavalry charges in to their general our bowmen now are trying to continue to route this unit. You can see we got this spear unit here is routing, or they're broken. 
but they could reform. So I think at the last second, yep, I get my gunners to shoot into them. And then I'm going to move them back. I see this side here starting to get a little secure. However, we are going to break here shortly. They have this unit and these two units here that could probably run amok on these ranged units. So I start to move them out. I want to try and bring him in if I can to intercept. Then you see we have a unit that off. disappeared here. Start getting our archer fire into the back of that spear unit. Our hand gunners will start to fire. Waiting for these units here to regroup. But then we were able to secure this up here. So now it's just a matter of getting these units to loop around. We were able to kill their general and you can see now that that's going to start to really close things up for them. So pretty cool battle. Really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I haven't done 12-12 AD really for gosh I, I, this might e this might only be like my second or third battle that I've done. So uh, I might want to go ahead and do a campaign on this at some point, but we do have to finish Pharaoh. We have to finish Shogun. So, you know, that's uh, definitely something I want to do for you guys. So that's our battle, Kingdom of England against the Kingdom of France. I know it wasn't a very long battle, but, uh, you know, just want to put it out there for you guys to check out, see what you think. And what we'll probably do is once I get a few more battles, um, you know, maybe we'll start to pile a few together into a longer video for you. Let me know. Like I said, I'm new to this. I'm trying to learn uh, how things can go. So, yeah, if you guys ever get an opportunity, come on in, leave a comment. If you have any interesting thoughts, please share them with me. And uh, I appreciate you coming out. I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your day. And uh, as always, be good, be safe, be blessed. We'll see you on the battlefield. This is Crew. Peace.